very much, Robert. That was a very quick presentation. Um, it's a pleasure uh, for me to be here. Um, I work for uh, Grimshaw Architects um, here in New York and in London. I um, work with um, Grimshaws in London from 94 um, and um, trying to speak about um, our approach to um, transport and airport um, infrastructure, which is kind of a holistic uh, approach to these, um, to these buildings. Of course, we can't change, as you said, the overall carbon emission of, of traveling in, in flights. And prior to the um, presentation tonight, I just um, had a quick doodle in the internet. I mean, flying, which I did um, two weeks ago, from Zurich to New York and back, um, you emit, you emit uh, four tons of CO2. Um, that is, just to get a kind of um, a comparison, um, uh, an average person in India uses one ton of CO2 a year. So we don't talk about that footprint. So our challenge as architects and engineers is really how can we make the infrastructure uh, which people use by traveling and to get to the infrastructure as efficient as possible. So I, I choose um, two uh, projects which, are, which I've worked on and which I'm working on with group chores, um, in Zurich um, and in New York City. Um, Zurich Airport, um, we started in um, 1990 with a competition um, and, and delivered in 2005. You already see in the kind of time scale, it's a different approach than to these mega projects which are right now happening in airport and, and transit which are growing extremely fast. Um, so the process was quite different. So the two projects which I'm showing, New York is the other one, here in Zurich, which we just started a, a year ago, roughly. Um, it's quite different in their typology, but the, uh, the process and the way we deal with the project is um, similar. So uh, that's one of the main spaces in the um, um, body of the, of the airport in Zurich. Um, which is a west-facing facade um, and the client at the time had just very clear two or three main aims to us and we weren't working with the uh, contractor, we were working directly with the Zurich Airport which is still running that airport and I had a chance of more than 20 years to accompany um, the project after having been delivered so the airport is not an, an, a building you deliver and that's, that's it, an airport is a, it's a, it's a changing animal saying you know it's it's changing and it's developing and growing really extreme so the two main tasks we were given um, was um, we had to increase the volume the overall building volume at the time we doubled the volume in size and the client said I want to spend half the energy at uh, when you finished so that was quite quite high um, expectation at the time in in 1990 90 84 was when the brief was set, so it's quite a long time ago, but still the, the expectations were really, really high. Um, I mean, there's hundreds of, of um, ways of dealing with that, but we did, um, i just show you a few of the, of the uh, elements we use. So we always say we have a kind of a holistic approach. There needs to be a really clear concept and a, and a vision um, for these spaces, for these transport spaces, and we always say that kind of space and light should um, define uh, where passengers uh, go and, and walk. So, and the light is is also a factor in the building. Gets energy into the building, but you have to control the light and the energy which gets into the building. But with the right measures, you have these um, also these spaces where passengers um, can refer back to. So that's one of the uh, that's the main. Um, main center building which we added in, in an existing structure so it's not a new built structure uh, it's a refurbishment structure between two existing piers which already were refurbished and um, afterwards we, we uh, delivered this piece um, the second big um, um, requirement for, of the client was um, to make traveling really clear and, and straightforward so passengers know where they go and we have short distances um, in order to increase the volume um, of the airport, we have the requirement to be able to design a system, an airport system, um, which um, delivering a model split, they call this. The model split meant a minimum of 50% of the traveling people to the airport and from the airport had to, go, to get there um, with a train. And let's monitor up to today, to, up to today 
um, the model figures 60%. So 60% of the people traveling at Zurich Airport are coming with the train and leaving with the train. Um, I mean, in terms of carbon emissions, and you've seen the, in the presentation before, train traveling is, is, is the way of, of getting um, the, the private transport away from the airport, which is congesting and has, has all kinds of other problems, and it's very efficient in terms of um, the overall approach to the um, to transport. Down here, so we insert it in, into an existing structure, of course, car parking, which is 40% of the, of the traffic, uh, and a landside terminal, and within that landside terminal, um, we um, added a terminal over a train station. So the main train station is it's not above ground, it's below ground, coming from, it's, it's of, of course in, 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 interconnected with um, European train lines um, north-south from Milan to, to Hamburg and, and um, Holland and east and east-west in the, in the east-west axis um, in Europe and, and Switzerland, as you know, is right in the middle of that axis. So you can, with inter-city inter trains, directly connect um, and underground to the fourth terminal um, so not just to the main terminals which were existing, but uh, another fourth terminal underground above to train. So the quickest way to check in in Zurich today is coming by train into the terminal and you checked in. You sort of pre-security control, go to the to a um, centralized um, and security check-in, and then you're you airside. So that's a very efficient traveling, and it makes it attractive to use public transport, which is a really important issue. And another. Um, increase in public transport we managed to do is by having a tram line connecting all these um, um, the slam side facilities and the traveling to the airport with the northern part of Zurich um, which we 10 years later uh, finished and um, built um, the tram line in, in, in the moment already is, um, is increasing it's, it's kind of tacked um, we call this and so it was planned to be in a 15 minute um, um, succession and it's um, seven minutes tacked now. That's an overall view, SR view. One of the key factors is light in, down into the building, so you have and special spaces which are basically underground but not completely um, air conditioned, as you mentioned also before. So we really specified specific. Um, 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 air, air controls in, in the spaces so we don't have to air control them and with these architectural elements which are defining the space we control uh, the air and the condition in the building. Some impressions inside of the landside center so that's where you ride to the train and you escape up to the, to the terminals already checked in. But now that's a view from this lens which brings light down 40 meters directly to the train station. The west facade, external shading, high profile external facade, and the quality of it in the, in the 90s was already tri triple glazed and in a low new value, which was high above um, the, the standards of the market then. New York Terminal 1, which we're right now uh, currently working on. Um, as you know, existing, new, uh, existing structures at New York, there's going to be a um, demolishment of certain areas of that um, of this area here, a new terminal which is only a domestic terminal. Um, Zurich we were talking in international terminal, highly complex flows of um, international and local passengers. Um, this is a purely domestic um, 46 gate um, passenger terminal on a greenfield site when the other terminals are demolished. Similar concept again in terms of the architectural approach, space and light have a central terminal, short um, connections directly to the piers and with the light we control the quality of the space and the um, emissions of the space. Thank you.